Flowcharts are often used to help define the flow of an algorithm. However, they often get long and are hard to manage, especially as we get into larger and larger projects. Therefore, pseudocode is sometimes and often preferred. Now, pseudocode isn't real code, hence the term pseudo. It's an English-like set of statements that help us define what a program is supposed to do. While some people will write full-on sentences, most people will write short fragment blocks. The idea is you don't have to know programming language to read or write it, but anyone should be able to pick it up and follow the logic of it and help determine if you made any logical errors in your description. Some people indent lines of pseudocode to show up block they're in, others will use empty lines. In reality, there is no set rule. It's based upon how you're taught and how the company or organization you are associated with prefers to have it done. With pseudocode, you can replicate all the features that you can with a flowchart. In fact, it's easier to show loops in many cases. Let's look at some examples. The first one is going to be real nice and simple and simply converts feet into meters. Get distance from feet. Meters equals feet times 0 0.3048. Print meters. This pseudocode is going to be a little bit more complex. It gets a list of customers if they would own a specific product, and then those customers will get an email about the update. Notice that it handles both a loop block of code and a decision block of code. You may also note the indenting that was used to make things easier to read and see what is within a given block of code. One thing to know about pseudocode is that it more than likely it's actually going to take a lot more lines of programming code to recreate that logic. And that's okay. Pseudocode is just like flowcharts is designed to give us the logic of how we need to solve the problem and make it fast and easy to communicate that to a developer or other person. Whether that's the one that's creating the pseudocode or it's another developer, it needs to be easy to use for them.